It's absolutely fun. These shows are built to suck you in. They're not made for your entertainment. And if you go in there and it's, you have a high chance of being taken advantage of by the wrong person. This is not for everybody. You go in there Seriously. to buy. Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. We're about a week and a half from the 2024 Florida RV Super Show, also known as the Tampa RV Show. Kind of go hand in hand. But the mm -hmm. proper one is the Florida RV Super Show. We know a lot of you guys are going to be looking for an RV there because we put another video out, we'll link it above, giving you the best tips to get the most out of the show. But if you're looking for an RV, this video is going to be important because we're going to give you seven tips on how to get the best deal at the 2024 Florida RV Super Show. All right, so tip number one is if you're serious about buying an RV, whether it's a towable or motorized, you don't want to make that very first decision at the show. So you want to make sure you do a lot of research and know what you want when you go to the show. The show is really should be to try to get the best deal. Also know what price you want to pay. Now we are in a really good time right now mm -hmm. for buyers is that there is a lot of inventory out there and dealers are going to be pretty aggressive to try to move that inventory. This is not the 2021 Florida RV Super Show where prices Correct. were being jacked up and people were really having a hard time getting a deal. Now is the time. Number two, don't ask us how we know this. Don't buy on emotion. And we've learned all these things over the years because most of these mistakes I think we did mm -hmm. maybe not all of them but we bought our first RV after deciding we wanted to RV like a week later right. we looked at like eight RVs and bought one the same day because it was just exciting and new and we wanted to experience this new form of travel and put no thought no homework in at all these shows are built to suck you in now oh, yeah. and now it's fun it's absolutely fun a lot of you are veteran show goers so you kind of know what to expect but if you're a first timer and you're trying to get the best deal you don't want to go in there thinking with your heart do you want to be thinking with your head what maybe a combination of both you know what MJ talked about we bought on the first day that we saw it. Yeah. the good thing with the positive side it was only a $23,000 chart only $23,000 now we had a, I don't know if there were subscribers, somebody that followed our channel at the Hershey show that said, oh, I, I just... I just bought a motorhome and my husband doesn't even know about it. Like I, I didn't even think I was going to yeah. buy and I just bought it. And now you're talking like hundreds of thousands of dollars. So that's a little bit different from like a $23,000 motorhome. But that's what we said. Like you could easily get sucked into it. And oh yeah, we can get you in that payment. How much can you afford? $1,000 a month? Yeah, no problem. $1,000 a month for like, you know, 50 years. So again, it's just these shows, they're not made for your entertainment. They're put up by dealers to sell you products. So just know that going in. Now you did steps one and two. You know what you want. You're not going to buy emotion you're ready to make a deal number three is that you want to have your finance ready to go right and that's not to say that if you don't get a better finance rate from a dealership by all means take it and they're probably going to at least match what you have but you want to know going in i know what my credit score is i know i've already been approved on this amount loan for this interest rate because believe it or not dealerships do get money off the interest rate. So try to get your lowest interest rate, whether that's for a credit union, third party, whatever. Or if you know you're already pre-approved and you're going to get a better deal through a dealership, then maybe you can refinance later, which is what we did. Right. We got, I think it was like 4.99 or five and a quarter. And then we refinanced to three and a quarter, which mm -hmm. we did and worked out way better. Way better. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not a finance person and the rates are pretty high right now, you have cash ready to go, be ready to make a deal. If you get the price you want, be ready to make that deal. Mm -hmm. Have that cash, cash, I mean, check. Because somebody will be like, oh, I don't carry cash with me. You know what I mean? A check. Have cash ready to go. The next one is out the door price is everything. Now, we've mentioned this quite a few times in videos in the past. And you just mentioned this earlier. A lot of times, even when you buy cars and things, Dealers try to get you to hear numbers that are smaller and, and feel that you are controlling that price. What do you want your monthly payment to be is a big one. And as Izzy said, you can get a low monthly payment and stretch it out over 50, 75 years, <laughs> right? And be dead before the It's usually 20, payment. but... Yeah. Exactly. But if you do that... There's all these other fees and all these other, we've also done videos on that. And when we talk about fees, you know, you're going to see dealerships that they pride themselves, I say, no junk fees. Their prices 
kind of tend to be higher when you look at them. But again, it's the out the door price. There's some dealerships that I'm not going to name, but they're notorious for having that low advertised price and it looks great. And then by the time you put the prep fee and the destination fee and, you know, I walked in your RV fee and all these fees. PDI fee. <laughs> every, there's a fee for everything. There's a fee for turning your, for putting propane in the tanks, fee for everything. It actually winds up being more. So your out the door price, what is this going to cost you at the end of the term? Or how much is the check you have to write to get that title in your name? That is what's the most important. The next one is to shop dealers against each other. Now, when you go to a show, you will see dealers that are carrying certain manufacturers. So just for, for the show. Just right, for that show. So if General RV has Fleetwood, that doesn't mean that you can't get a Fleetwood through another dealer at the show. So that's a good point that you brought up. We know that National Indoor RV Center will also be there, not in the show, but they will be outside and the fairgrounds, they have their aim rally. And I have heard that they will certainly talk to people that want to make a deal outside of the show and it may be the opportunity. So mm -hmm. again, just because a dealership is at the show doesn't mean they don't carry other brands. Mm -hmm. Just because a dealership is not at the show doesn't mean that you can't negotiate with another dealer that's outside of the show. It's all about you having the power to get the best deal. And building on that, guys, you're going to see a lot at every show, you're going to see show price. You'll see the MSRP, but you'll see the show price, which is most of the time drastically lower than Except the MSRP. North Trail, they don't put a show price. Right, they don't. That doesn't mean that's the lowest price that you can get by any means, especially in this day and age. The next one's a big one. And we, we experienced this when we went to trade in our trailer, when we mm -hmm. bought our motorhome, is that if you go to trade in, again, it's all about the outdoor price. So they may offer you, dealership, they're notorious for this, they'll offer you a very high trade, but then the sale price is more. Although they'll offer you a lower sale price, but the trade is less, right? So it's gonna be, again, all out the door price. Now, if you can sell your RV privately, almost always you're gonna do better. There are some tax advantages for the trade-in, but you're almost always gonna do better if you can sell it privately, if you wanna deal with that. Now, I know when we- We did. We, we got a, I believe, $12,000 offer on our trailer, and it was only nine months old. We sold it, I think, for 20,000. Yeah. Very yeah. quickly. Yeah. So that's how much money we saved. Now, would it have been easier just to give it to the trade? Yeah, but it took us probably three weeks and we sold it. It was I, fine. It, it was a no-brainer. It was a great buy, too. You know, we just drove out, I think, to PA. Yeah. We met the people and there it was. And this was pre-COVID too. So yeah. we got a decent amount before the, uh, you know, the big hit came. This is a really important one. Don't be afraid to walk away. And I know a lot of you have told us that you've done that and that's good. You are in control. You are the customer, the consumer. You don't have to do anything. And do your due diligence before you go to that show. Guys, salesmen, and look, we're friends with salesmen, but they're very good at determining if somebody has done their homework. And if you go in there and it's very clear that you haven't, you have a high chance of being taken advantage of by the wrong person. You don't want the salesman to be informing you what this RV is about, no. doing the homework for you. You want to do that. And like MJ said, you could be well... Be willing to walk away. If you go in with a price and you know that's a competitive price, you've seen it in other places, you know what you want to pay, they don't match it, then walk away. Yeah. Because again, it's not a good situation for RV dealerships right now. Yeah. They're holding on to a lot of inventory. They need to move inventory. And the show price is not the best price. And the show price is not going to be the only time where you get it at the show. If you're offering a fair deal, you're going to get that fair deal. Finally, one last tidbit of information. If you're specifically looking looking for a motorhome, you go to the show. We always recommend, if you're looking for a motorhome, guys, that is a much bigger investment than most towables. You should be able to test drive it. You should have all your questions answered. You should be able to know that motorhome inside and out before you buy it, because you're talking at a minimum 100,000, like bare minimum yeah, yeah. entry, $100,000. Yeah. Most are gonna be far more than that. There is an alternative, it's the first time it's happening it's June 4th through June 7th of 2024. It's the National Indoor RV Center Music City Motorhome Expo. And it is at the Wilson County Fairgrounds in Lebanon, Tennessee. It's a premier VIP shopping experience. So it's three days of being able to walk on and touch hundreds of motorhomes from all different manufacturers, Newmar, Tiffin, Fleetwood, Winnebago, Integra. Integra. Yes, Gretsch. they're, they're all going to be there. They're all yep. going to be there. You are going to be able to 
speak to the manufacturers themselves, the engineers. You're going to be able to go to seminars and learn more about these. You're going to be able to test drive as many mm -hmm. motorhomes as you want. What's going to be awesome about it, well, we're going to be there. That's going to be pretty awesome. But well, you, you sound so... No, no, I'm saying so it's going to be awesome us, that we're going to be there. I know. He sounds like, oh, guys, it's going to be awesome. No, <laughs> we're very excited to go. Yeah, but whereas the Tampa show, the Hershey show, will get anywhere between 60 and 80,000 people visiting, this you're talking about two, three hundred people yeah. for like two to three hundred coaches. That's pretty awesome. Plus, you get your full hookups, right? You get food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, plus snacks, plus open bar later. You get entertainment, and you're close to Nashville. And if you purchase from them an RIVC within one year, the cost for the show is completely refunded to you. So what is the cost of the show? So for the three-day pass, it's $1,495 per couple. Per coach. So that's for two people. Correct. So you're looking at you know $750 each person for all of that included. It's, it, it's really a steal. If you do the one day pass, it's four ninety five. Mm -hmm. Again, this is not for everybody. People might say, "Oh my God, you got to pay for the show." This is only for people that are looking to buy. No tire kickers. You go in there yeah, to buy, and if you go to buy, you get fed the whole experience. It's given back to you. You get one of the best dealerships out there. So if you want more information about that, we'll link it down below. I think there might still be some availability. Few, I don't yeah. know how much, but uh, you can go check it out down below. If you don't follow us on Facebook and Instagram, definitely do that. We post a lot on there. Um, we have a, a big following on Instagram. We do a lot of like short little RV tours. Mm -hmm. If you like to see little clips, you know, minute long views of RVs, that's a good place to do it. And we'll just keep you updated there. So in the comments below, let us know, are you going to be at the Tampa RV show? Are you going to any RV show? Florida Are you... RV Super Show. Florida RV Super Show. Are you going <laughs> to the NARVC Music City Motor Home, Home. Expo? I always say Motor Coach. Motor Home Expo. We want to know in the comments below. Let us know. If you like videos like this to the left of us, we'll put our RV Tours playlist, which we'll be doing a lot from the show. We'll also put our RV Vlog playlist, which we'll be doing also from the show. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on the road. road.